This is a masterpiece in makeup. Ding dong, darling. Ding dong, you delivered. <laughs> My hidden strength is my focus. This makeup is a visual representation of all my ideas coming together in the centre of my face. Wow. I mean, what an explosion. There was so much going on. Oh my days, this is a beautiful look. Ding dong, darling. Ding dong. When I was growing up, me and my siblings would practice and perform Chinese dancing. And you would often embody a character of Southeast Asian mythology. So for Chinese New Year, it was the hungry dragon. That bass was blowing my mind. It was beautiful. The swirls and the movement and the brush strokes. I mean, look at those. It's just, it's a painting. Thank you. My monstrous mutation tells a story of someone playing with black magic and mixing with sinister satanic creatures. I think it's really good, but looking around the room today, the standard is really quite high. I think you just need to trust yourself because there's more to you than this. Thank you. My story for Seasons of Change was based around when I first went solo traveling to Indonesia. So this look was to pay homage to the ancient temples where they were built to worship the sun. For some reason, I'm not seeing what you were hoping to achieve with the color. Okay. At the moment, it feels like a story that's half told. I wanted to be remembered for being fearless, so I thought about all the Scottish warriors and how they were always undefeated. So this look was my creation of my own coat of arms, combining Celtic symbols and stud work. You are back, and you are back with a vengeance. I get the Celtic story. I see the warrior. This is a masterpiece in makeup. Ding dong, darling. Ding dong, you delivered. <laughs> So my avatar is based off the concept behind a Beijing opera mask, how they use them to portray the character's one intense emotion. So I wanted to use that as to how people only show one side of their personality online. All the colors you chose are just, they look so powerful together. I love how you have the prosthetics used to show the example of a false smile. So I think you really did an amazing job of capturing that in your avatar. Thank you. My rebellion look is inspired by Alexander McQueen, in particular his final collection. This is a big, big makeup in two and a half hours, and it is so impressive. I love it. Thank you. This makeup will work on a big show, on a big catwalk, in the theatre. Now that is incredibly exciting. You know what? I don't have to critique this at all. It is a ding dong from me. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was amazing. <laughs> this is a modern masterpiece. Definitely a ding dong, darling. Definitely a ding dong. My hidden strength is my perseverance. The concrete statuesque forms represent self-made barriers that I put up, and the cracks and the wildflowers represent pushing through those barriers. I loved the technique to create that concrete effect, and it really does look like concrete. It's brilliant. This is a work of art. The attention to detail. You lot should be very, very scared. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. My look is based on creatures of the ocean. I took some of the textures, the colour palette and the shapes from a Sally Lightfoot crab from the Galapagos to make this sort of alien creature. I also wanted to add a horror element which I hid within the hands. Wow. This is just wow. The colours are amazing. That mouth is just 
freaky. <laughs> ding dong, darling. Ding dong. <laughs> ding dong. My monstrous mutation is about a girl who suffered from a pretty bad skin condition. So she's gone to a mad scientist, but it goes really, really wrong, and she starts to slowly and painfully mutate into this monster. This is a blockbuster, and I spent a while trying to find faults with this, <laughs> zooming in and out, and I couldn't. I'm really, really impressed. Thank you so much. <laughs> My Seasons of Change look is based on the journey that I'm on right now. The bottom of the face represents a more safe, traditional, kind of expected route that I was on. And then as we sort of journey up the face, it's me trying to transition into this like passionate, chaotic world of makeup. I really love the way you've applied that paint. The transition though between the top and the bottom, it's too extreme. I would have liked to have seen more chaos in the top half and you could have put on a stonking red lip. I want to be remembered for reaching my full potential. So to show this, I wanted to be inspired by glass blown art. So the process of glass blowing takes something really boring and plain like sand, puts it through intense pressure to reform it completely into something purposeful and beautiful. Lisa, I'm just obsessed. I love your story. It translates so beautifully. I love the color, I love the pattern, I love the movement. What a way of bouncing back. Avatar is a digital warrior for online positivity and fighting back against hate and troll culture. Lisa, I love the message behind your work. I think it's really meaningful and it's so important today. I think it's just absolutely stunning and I love how it represents you in a way and the fact that you have this pur purple hair and I see that color there, it just really, I feel like this is your avatar and I just, I love that. I wanted to do a look inspired by female writers from history who wrote with a male alias or anonymously in order to be published at a time where women's voices were not heard or valued. I love the story. My only criticism is that there is three main parts in this makeup. It's almost like you are telling the same story three times. Saying that, the three parts are incredible. This is a work of art from every perspective. It has to be a ding-dong for me, it has to be. It is just so gobsmackingly gorgeous. <laughs> ding-dong, darling, ding-dong. Ding-dong. <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you. So my hidden strength is based around my ability to transform. Growing up I had a lot of issues with self-confidence. I discovered makeup. It really made me feel completely empowered and completely in control. I loved the guppy mouth. I loved the sort of chinny chin chin. For me, you have become your hidden strength. Wow, that, that is pure art. My look today is inspired by the Cheshire Cat. The things that made me a little bit of an outcast when I was younger later became the things that people celebrated about me and I kind of wanted to represent that in my image. I really love it. There's so many elements that I think work and I loved your use of just getting that black on that body and then going in with some colors to sort of pop. My monstrous mutation centers around the ultimate social media high. Something goes wrong and the person becomes reliant on this validation as its life support. For me, all the sort of like cracked, soggy edges just add to this sort of like futuristic Blade Runner character. I can see your progress and I can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My season of change began when I made the decision to move to London to pursue makeup. And during that whole time, I felt like a cake in the process of baking. 
Wasn't quite done yet, but when it was done, it was gonna be this delicious sweet treat that was worth the wait. Great story. And from the moment that you got that prosthetic, it's homemade, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got that prosthetic and you just stuck it on the side. I was like, what? For me, yes, it's gorgeous. Let them eat cake. <laughs> The thing that I want to be remembered for is being grounded. So as a makeup artist, we are always seeking for inspiration, right? In this case, I had to fly all the way from New York across the sea to London to meet you for you to inspire me. The fact that you made your own prosthetics for me is mind blowing. This highlight, I can see that from a mile. <laughs> <laughs> ding dong, darling, ding dong. It's amazing. So, may I introduce you to my avatar, who I lovingly name Imagine Nathan. I used a Edison light bulb as one of the main points of reference. What I love is the fact that this is basically you in a makeup. <laughs> like it is, it is a kind of a have a go attitude. And what I also love is the colouring, but the refinement in it is just lacking. We are picking at everything now, so you've got to bring it. Thank you. Thank you. So this may come as a surprise to everyone in the room, but I am a gay man. <laughs> and my rebellion look centers around when my religious upbringing came into conflict with my sexuality. This is a huge makeup. And you always do a big makeup. The one thing I'm gonna say is what? Yes. Fitness. This is like a five, six hour job. And you're trying to do it in two hours and 15 minutes. I mean, that's a big task. But well done. Thank you. Thank you.